gonna stop in. So while I was shuffling in, I kept hearing let the frauds flock together. Yeah, look at that, that crow energy. <laughs> and you're a warrior, you're a warrior, that's why. So I'm seeing people hmm, gravitating towards frauds. And it's because you're a fucking warrior. So they were never, you know, they were never built for it. They weren't cut from the same motherfucking cloth, is what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing the longer you try to hold on to these people, the longer it's going to take for your abundance to come in. I keep feeling that vibe. It's like the divines are just waiting to bless you, but you keep holding on to people that were never meant to be around when these blessings come through. So it's going to keep being delayed. We have the direction, Guardian. Choose your path. And Sky Father, trust in the unknown. So what is this path that they're being called to choose? Temperance. Well, you're being called to just trust in the unknown. Yeah, maybe this, the path is unclear. The path of creating new experiences, yeah? The path of you gravitating towards people that are on the same vibe as you, that gain their wings, that don't have these clipped wings. Oh, wow. Okay, what's that about? Mmm. Dumping it out. Yeah, okay. I just heard I just heard these people come around you just to dump all their shit onto you. Because you're in your own lane here chilling. And they come around to dump shit on you. But you're in the vibes of you know, by any means necessary, by any means necessary for you to <sighs> You hear the cookie fry? Hi, cookie. By any means necessary for you to remain in gratitude, by any means necessary for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor and reach for the stars, go after what you want. Yeah, even if you have to remove people from your life. But I'm seeing they surrendered their swords to you because you are speaking your truth. She's holding that ace of swords, her sword of truth. And I feel that's why they surrendered their swords to you. It's like, nah, she's too real. He's too real. And I heard the divine say, well, good, because now they can finally enjoy the fucking fruits of their labor. Now they can finally go over what... Go for what they want. Now they can be in a space where they're in tune with nature, where they can try out new things. Jesus. But they're watching. They're watching. <laughs> they're watching because there's like such a shift in energy with these tarot decks. We have both. We have both um, seven of pentacles here, but look at this card. It's like you're here in gratitude, even in the delays, even with all that hard works that you put in. And when, when they put in a lot of hard works, it's like they're exhausted. And they're waiting for the fruits of their labor rather than enjoying it. And that's why they're not in alignment with you. Because you guys see things from a different perspective. Yeah. So you have to choose a new path. There's a new adventure coming. You're stepping into a new adventure. Remaining hopeful. But you have to release them. And I'm also seeing you have to, you know, I'm, I, I'm getting like stuck up energy in this card so making sure you're <clears throat> not in a vibe like i'm better than you 
you know, even if they're doing that to you, just remain in your light. Not proving yourself to anyone, not doing it because you're trying to prove yourself. But I'm also feeling the vibes of you just saying, huh, who gives a fuck? Fool, yeah, because they're fools, they're foolish. Maybe they even called you a fool for going on this new adventure. They're like, you're about to leap off a cliff. And you're like, bitch, there's someone waiting for me at the bottom of that cliff. I, I've got that vibe of, you know, in movies, like when someone's falling and then right at the very last minute, someone swoops in and fucking saves them. That's how it's going to be. They're thinking that you're falling to your death, but you actually know what's at the bottom. You know that you trust in the unknown. Yeah, look at that. The bird, it's like, is carrying you through. Through the storm. It's carrying you through the storm. You know how... Yes, Paolo. Thank you, my love. Mommy has to read something from here. Ole. Let's see. Occasionally, we believe stories that hurt ourselves or others. If this is the case, it may be time to rewrite the script. Revising your stories gives you the power to not only change your past, but also your present and future. So rewriting your story. <sighs> Releasing that. Yeah, and allow the fucking frauds to gravitate towards each other. They weren't meant to be with you on that fucking journey. It's like I, I got the energies of, yeah, they weren't meant to be there because they're stuck in a really dark space. Yeah, they keep themselves. <sighs> they keep themselves in this limiting, in this limiting space. And that's why even more they're not in alignment with you. Because the things that you're manifesting would feel will feel it feels stressful and exhausting to them when you're in your highest energies it's like you could never go hungry you could never go tired in that space you're at and they're just like really stuck in their head and i'm feeling I that just, it hits them it hits them the most when it's nighttime it hits them hardest when it's nighttime. Maybe you were there for them a lot in the night. But I, I am also seeing you left them in the dark. They have no access to you because look at that, that light and the dark. Oh, wow, that flipped over. Left them in the dark. Left them in the dark, yep. Now even when they're at work, they can't even enjoy it. They don't even enjoy what they do, even if it's... When they're traveling, they just can't see. I'm just seeing they can't see. They can't see where they're going. Yeah, look at that hidden. Chicken, yeah, you see the chicken? They can't see where they're going because it's being hidden. That path is being hidden from them. That new opportunity and experiences. You took your shit and you left. You took back your energy. And they're watching and they're spying and they're fucking talking about it. They could even be dreaming about it. Dreaming about you. Mm. So they could be getting messages from spirit saying that you were right. You were in alignment. And that's probably why they're fucking stuck in their head. I'm seeing like they're even trying their best not to sleep because they dream about you so much. That's fucking weird. Yeah, look at that, their intuition. Keeper of secrets. And they could be keeping that to themselves, but I'm also seeing as this relationship that you're stepping into, you keep it a secret. Trust in your intuition. I feel like your intuition has been telling you to not let people around, 
to not let people around you at this time while you're going through these upgrades. Because your partner is on the way. And that's why they had to be moved out the way as well. Because you're coming into union with something you're in alignment with. You shifted your perspective. You're going through. Oh, who is this? Raya. Wow. Coming into union with more warriors. Warrior. It's going to be a very happy, healthy household. And that's why they were moved out of your space as well, because you didn't want those type of energies around your shit, around your children, around your, just around your fucking energetic field. Spirit didn't want your aura merging with their aura. Yeah, because there's a lot of celebrations coming in. Fucking celebrations with people that got their own cup, with people who are stable, with people who are, gra are fucking grateful for even the little things. A lot of stability coming towards you. Look at that happiness, success, joy. So there's a joyous outcome that comes about out of all this mess. You just have to release. You have to release. You have to celebrate. Yeah, don't be stuck on the bullshit. All right, let's close this off because ooh. Even when it comes to me manifesting like a sacred space to work from, I have to focus on getting that rather than focusing on everything else. Put it back in the bag. Oh, wow. Medicine guardian, high priestess. So be open to healing information. Maybe someone's not open to hearing this. Maybe someone's not open to releasing the past. Yeah, the shedding. <laughs> because it came up in reverse. Not open to releasing, not open to putting things to rest, not open to throwing the fucking old skin away rather than hanging it up on the wall as an accomplishment. Like, yeah, I don't know. That's always what I get from that. Like, warrior. So maybe Raya has a message for you. This is like the energies of... Uh, 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 um. What was it? I don't know. Check out that movie, Raya. Just the synopsis if you don't fuck with animated films. Beautiful, beautiful shifts are happening. So create that sacred space and be open. Ending it at 13. The Death card, Scorpio season. 